Smurfs Dance Party for the Nintendo Wii is a great dancing game. No, that is not a lie, and I can't believe I said that either. Why the heck is Smurf's Dance Party better than, say, Bala Latino or, you know, Yoga Master maybe? Well, let's get to the bottom of my review. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jack Jenkins, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my fitness game reviews while I play a fitness game and review it to see if you guys should play it to lose weight or, you know, you guys should get something else. This is part of Shovelware Month, which is a yearly tradition where I pick up a low effort fitness game to see if it's any good. Surprisingly, I think I found the winner for the month already. And it's a Smurf Fitness. God. For self-improvement, crafts, and fitness games, go ahead and turn on YouTube and watch Jack. I want to start off by saying that I absolutely loved the Smurfs as a kid. Uh, they would play reruns on like Cartoon Network and Boomerang. Remember Boomerang? Oh man. Uh, kids these days. Uh, Smurf Racer, which is for the original PlayStation, was literally the game I would frequently play as a kid. I had that and a few PS1 games gifted to me along with the GameCube and Zelda Ocarina of Time on that GameCube disc with both of them and uh, I preferred playing Smurf Racer over Zelda. I wanted to put this up front as this may be clouding my judgment of the Smurfs franchise. The game Smurf Dancing is tied in is for that movie, the first Smurfs movie, and that movie sucked so much. As a fan, I hated that movie even though I was, you know, a high school student, so uh, I had uh, I hated everything, so I had a kind of a negative reaction to the game. Despite the negative expectation, or probably because of it, I was pleasantly surprised. This game is so bad that it turned out to be good. <laughs> Gameplay is like every other Ubisoft dancing game literally out there. You hold the Wii remote in your hand and you, you know, follow along with the dance moves on the bottom right of the screen. You then do it along with the on-screen avatar, which in this case is one of the Smurfs. You got Papa Smurf, you got a Smurfette, you got Sleepy Smurf, you got them all. It came right after Just Dance 2, so I probably utilized the same gameplay engine, meaning it's not as fine-tuned as the newer games. However, despite the floaty controls, I managed to, you know, get the hang of it. Let's just say I'm an expert of Smurfs dancing. The graphics are surprisingly great for a, you know, Wii game. The background is a 2D image with the 3D recording of the Smurfs dancing in front of it. And it's pretty good and it's pretty big on the detail. It's in 480p 60fps, which is great for following along. From the menu to the song layout, everything else is, you know, pretty standard for a game of this type. You choose a song, you play the song, you get the score. Anyone who's ever played Just Dance would get the formula. The graphics don't really matter that much in these types of games. What matters is the songs, and they are pretty good. There are three primary uh, song types in this game. You have the original songs made for just this game, such as Welcome to New York. And Smurf Very Licious. You then have the Smurfs covers of classic songs. Remember Who Let the Dogs Out? Well, now it's Who Let the Smurfs Out.
By the way, I absolutely love the guy who is acting as Gargamel. You can tell he's just regretting every life choice he made that caused him to be here. Look at him. It's just hilarious. These cover songs are so bad and embarrassing that it becomes incredible. Come on, who doesn't want to dance to We Like to Smurf It, Smurf It? Like to Smurf It, Smurf It. Lastly, there are the real songs, such as uh, Barbara Streisand and Higher. These are covers, except for Katy Perry's One of the Boys, a fantastic song that's just an absolute jam. Listen to this like quick three second clip because, you know, copyright. It's such a jam. Those three songs come together to make around 25 songs total in the game. Again, it's too little for 30 or so dollars on the release day. I obviously bought the game used for this review. I only played it for like $1.99 at a disc replay, which is a Midwestern retail store. Um, it's a treasure trove of just like old garbage games such as this for like three bucks. You gotta go there if you live in the Midwest. I wish I had more songs Songs, what they have in the game is pretty good in that it's so bad it's great my favorite pieces of the game are of course one of the boys since Katy Perry is just a goddess and uh, blue moon listen to this song is just such a hot jam. If I ever become rich and famous, I would give Maroon 5 ridiculous amount of money just to cover the song, just because I want to hear them embarrass themselves more than like songs like Memories do. It just sounds like it's just in their wheelhouse. If I had to pick a couple of bad pieces, it would be Mr. Smurftastic and Gargamel. They are both so bad, it turned out amazing. Gargamel is such a hot jam. He raps and talks about like the Smurf cartel, like it's 2018 Republicans. Listen to the rap in this. Diddy Smurf that ain't that pretty. Give it to the villain who shipped it and kill it. Y'all remember well the name of Gargamel. Eminem's been awfully quiet since Gargamel dropped this track, you know what I mean? The game also has a few different modes as well. Of course, the dancing mode where you, you know, pick a song and play it either by yourself or with another person. I usually played this with my girlfriend who hated this game so much that it made me just love it even more. She thought this is the worst game ever, and it is, and it's awesome. For multiplayer, you can either play with each other to get a higher score, compete to see who has the highest score, or play freeze and shake mode where you have to, you know, dance and then you stop and you have to shake the Wii remotes at random points. Uh, if you don't really, get, then you get like dinged some points or something like that. I really like this mode as it's such a creative way to break things up. I mean, <laughs> I'm giving compliments to Smurfs dancing. Come on, guys. Uh, Mr. Uh, not Mr. Enter, but uh, Phantom Strider said this is one of the worst games. And there's also a playlist mode where you can create and run through your own set list, something that I complain about a lot of other dancing games not having. Speaking of this, this game actually has a calorie counter. That is something that so many of these fitness and dancing games are missing. Why in God's name? The Smurf Dance Party have this feature and so many other features that so many games don't. I'm sorry, DDR Mario Mix. You are no longer going to be used as a reference of this feature missing. <music> Lastly is a story mode. It's so bad and so dumb that it has become Excellent. You have to play through about seven or eight different songs in the game. I forgot the number. Uh, before you can start with the song, you have to listen to Papa Smurf talk to the audience of Smurfs, you know, who like boo 
and sheer and do a bunch of like dumb sound effects there's just so many weird pauses in this speech it's just so wrong just watch this but needed to keep clumsy busy so he went to the forest to gather smurf roots why did he stop speaking for so long there? They just cut like clips in the, from the movie before the dancing, which, you know, I love because it's just so nostalgic. You know, games these days don't really do that. They don't have like movie cut-ins, um, cut scenes, you know, movie tie-in games just don't do this anymore. In fact, there's no really movie tie-in games, which, you know, kind of suck. Why doesn't Rhea get like a crappy 3D platformer with their release dates where you have to like swing like the sword and fight the dragon? Um, what crappy games do kids get to play anymore? They just play Fortnite. It's just, man, I'm so old that I'm complaining how kids don't have to play through garbage as much as I did as a kid. It's just, I'm just so old and sad. There's absolutely no hope that this game is getting a sequel, so I'm just going to skip that section. If they release one for the Switch, absolutely no one is going to buy it. No one's going to buy a Smurfs Dance Party 2, except for me. So why bother? This game is terrible. It's so bad that it turns out and becomes impressive. The pack, the fact that they put so much energy and effort into this game when half the games that I review is just so sad. <laughs> if there was a kid, then this, if that was a kid back when this game released, I would definitely play it much more than say like Mario Galaxy or whatever good game my parents bought me. I'd be playing this crap along with, I don't know, Ratatouille for Wii. Man, I was just a, such a stupid kid. If you have your Wii hooked up and need a quick laugh at a terrible game, I highly recommend you purchase this masterpiece. Go, go, go get it. So guys, that's it for Smurfs Dance Party. I shall continue on next week with Dance on Broadway. Why did I say it like that? Dance on Broadway. Yet another Ubisoft Just Dance spinoff. If you guys like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos such as these, product tries, challenges, and so much more. If you guys have any suggestions or anything you want me to try, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Follow me on Twitter at TrueJackJank. Lastly, have a fantastic day, everyone. All you guys are just perfect.